from the Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for April 2024. So on April 19th, we will see the sun move out of this Aries energy, move into Taurus energy. So let's unpack. First of all, the Aries energy kicked off the absolute new astrological calendar. That Aries energy is a resurrection, a renewal, if you will, with our life force energy, our creative life force energy. It brings a spark back. It brings a fire back. We're building an inspiration and excitement and creative ideas. The Taurus energy is when they're going to actually take form, take root. We're moving into a fixed earth sign. Fixed energy stabilizes. Earth energy brings us back into our physical body, very aware of our physical environment. And now we're able to actually see, first of all, what needs to stay, what needs to go. Secondly, we are building, we are creating the foundation, the system, the structure that these little seeds that got kind of initiated and planted in Aries energy, we have to give them a home. We have to give them the system, the structure, the foundation to actually grow, to actually root. So there's going to be some interesting dynamics that play out here because, of course, we have some major astrology popping off right out of the gate. I'm talking about Jupiter and Uranus. If you haven't listened to the 2024 year ahead reading for this particular month, you should probably do so. It is a major, major shift in energy. It's some unexpected energy that is going to push us in quantum leaping into new timelines, into new chapters, into new realities, which is a very interesting contrast seeing as Taurus energy slows the roll, slows the pace down. Why? Well, because we were kind of all over the place in Aries season, not to mention eclipse energy, not to mention Mercury still retrograde. However, that fire energy is about initiating new idea here, new thought pattern there, new wants, needs and desire there but it doesn't have a form. It's just floating around in space. Taurus energy, we have to slow things down, become a little bit more aware, a little bit more present within ourselves, within the world in which we're living in to see where it is that we need to stabilize. We need to strengthen. We need to provide a foundation and a structure for new growth. So there's a lot going on. Let's consider the fact that Taurus season is ruled over by Venus. Venus is currently in Aries energy right now. She just kicked off her brand new cycle not too long ago as she completed her time through that zodiac wheel. She shifted into Aries energy. She kind of adopted the dark feminine warrior energy. She wasn't messing around. She had a change of heart. There were a lot of things going on. She's more straightforward, more blunt with what it is that she wants, needs, and desires. She knows what and who needs to stay, needs to go. And now this Taurus energy puts her in her rulership, not even in mentioning at the fact she will actually be shifting into her rulership here on the 29th. We will cover that in another forecast. So Venus is still in Aries energy, giving us this, you know, warrior type of spirit to kind of, you know, cut things off and do things in a different way and kind of be a little bit more direct with our wants, with our needs, with our desires. And in the Taurus energy, the whole Taurus season, we're going to have time to kind of slow down, be a little bit more logical and practical and methodical with what it is that we need to do to eliminate, to purge, to release the aspects, the elements that aren't going to support this new goal, this new vision, new dream. We are going to get in touch with our physical body, our five senses. There's a lot of sensual energies that come up in this Taurus energy. And we are going to figure out what it is that we have to do to nurture and nourish ourselves back to a place of health and wellness, of safety, of security, of stability. Now, one thing that is very strong in Taurus energy is our want, need, and desire to fight, protect, and defend whatever it is that we've already built, what it is that we've already created, what it is that's already going well in our lives. But here's the thing, we can be fighting and protecting and defending old systems, old structures that aren't in alignment with our new chapter, with our new timeline. And fixed signs resist change. We get stuck in a rut. 
the thing about it is, is that we're in this transitional time, this adjustment period, if you will, where the new version of self just kind of got woke up, just kind of got permission to come out to play. The old version is still alive and well. And so the problematic areas that we're likely going to bump into throughout Taurus season is knowing from our higher selves what it is that we need to fight, defend, and protect as far as what it is that we've already built, already created, all, already brought to life that is going to support our future endeavors, our projects, our goals, and our dreams, and recognizing where it is that our ego programming kicks in to make us want to do those things when realistically those are the things that we need to be letting go of. That's the things that we need to kind of let collapse with the old version of self, the old reality, the old timeline. Now, when we talk about resistance, because again, Taurus energy kind of, you know, represented by the bull, you can't get any more stubborn than Taurus energy. So we may find ourselves resisting the things that we should be leaning all the way into. We might find ourselves stubborn in the point where we're too stubborn to let the old go and too stubborn to open the door and let the new in. There's going to be a lot of resistance come up in the shadow work for Taurus season. I am going to take this time to recommend that you download the Taurus season e-guide to help you kind of stay in alignment with the energy shifts as they pop off. The whole guide includes the astro events that will be coming at us through Taurus season and how you can best align with the energy. You got to stay ahead of it in order for it to work for you instead of against you. In that guide, you're going to do the walkthrough of Taurus season and you're going to see that there are some major, major astrology events taking place in Taurus season that is not only going to help us kind of get out of the rut that we have found ourselves in, but make us lean into the changes that we know in our heart we have to kind of embody and embrace a little bit easier than what it is that we've been doing and override the programming, the egoic programming and conditioning that has us resisting change for all its worth. So there's going to be some back and forth here. And realistically speaking, coming out of the eclipse season that we just had, Taurus season is going to be just as much about eliminating and releasing as it is going to be about building and creating. This is just the adjustment period that we find ourselves in. But we're going to be able to kind of tap into a new level of willpower, new level of determination. Um, we're really focused on kind of stabilizing our lives from a lot of the craziness, a lot of the chaos. Taurus season, because it's ruled over by Venus, she's all about her love, her money, her relationships. Not only are we going to be boosting ourselves in worth and value as far as our self-esteem and self-confidence is concerned again really leaning into the positive qualities of this new version of self but we are also going to be taking a good look at where it is that when we do the work within ourselves and build ourselves up to a new level of attitude of gratitude of of just understanding the worth and value within ourselves that also translates not only in our relationship dynamics but in our money matters as well and this Taurus energy is all about our resources, our financial situations, and our new long-term goals to provide ourselves with the safety and security that many of us aren't really too happy, peachy keen with at this particular point in time. So safety and security is number one. Relationships and money matters kind of go hand in hand with number two focus of this Taurus energy. So the thing about it is, is that Taurus energy being a fixed sign, we want to stick to what is tried, tested and true. We want to stick to what is familiar. And because, you know, we're really focused on longevity, there is this kind of breaking point where we're looking back on how long we've had certain relationship dynamics, we've had certain jobs, we've had certain ways of going about our lives, certain routines. We see that long-term effect and maybe we're not in alignment with that anymore, but we're so traditional in this Taurus energy that we may have a hard time switching up even the smallest of routines. Again, we're going to be battling our egoic conditioning and programming that creeps in to say, no, you don't have to change. Everything's fine. Let's just settle. Let's not grow. Let's not evolve. Let's just keep going with what it is that we've been doing. And again, the higher self is going to kick in and say, you know what? We have to grow. We have to evolve that, you know, routine or relationship or job or way of going about your life worked 
very well for you with the version of yourself that you once were, but you're not that version of self anymore. And so again, it's the back and forth of realizing what it is that we have to deconstruct, what we have to release, what we have to purge, what we have to end, just as much as clearing that space. Oh, for us to build, create, bring something new to life, something stronger, something more in alignment with our heart space, with our higher selves. This is the building and deconstruction phase, let's call it. So of course, there are shadow aspects. There are shadow aspects to every energy. One of the shadow aspects of Taurus energy is yes, being stubborn. However, you can be stubborn in the best kind of ways. And I would really invite you to be stubborn as far as I'm not going to lose focus on my dream. I'm not going to lose focus on my goals. I will not stray off of the path until I reach said juncture. You know, this is where we can make stubbornness actually work for us. But there is a possessiveness side to Taurus energy. And that again, with balance may not be an awful thing. However, the possessiveness is that we're afraid to let go of some of the things that we've already accumulated in our lives. And this is where the struggle between the ego and the higher self is going to continue to go back and forth and back and forth throughout Taurus season. We have kind of looked at the round, the reality that we have built, whether or not we're in alignment with it or not, we still claim possession over it. That's ours. We did that. We built that. We brought that to life. And so even though there is a part of us that knows that we're not in alignment with said structures anymore, we have a hard time letting it go. Even more than that, because Taurus energy really focuses in on the relationship dynamic, there's a possessiveness that we are now going to tap into and really illuminate a lot of the shadow elements that come forth in relationship dynamics. To to actually feel like you possess a person is the most wackadoodle thing that even happens in the construct of the human brain. And so we're going to see, especially coming out of this eclipse season, which should be breaking up relationship dynamics that are not healthy, that are not really in alignment with your higher self. This is a relationship dynamic leveling out phase and Taurus energy is going to really illuminate where it is that we hold on to people that we know are not good for us, that we know are not helping us, no, not supporting us, no, not encouraging us to be our best selves. And so again, this is going to come down to the ego versus the higher self. Our ego self is going to want to hold on to those people, even though we don't want them. We don't want anybody else to have them either. That's a problem. That's toxic all in itself. And because of that, we're going to have an even harder time letting go of the relationship dynamics that the eclipse picked up and shook up and showed us a different side to because we know that we've outgrown that particular life lesson, that particular soul contract. So the possessiveness is going to be an interesting shadow element for many of us to actually explore. Now, again, this is a very low, slow, steady pace energy. And many of us could feel very frustrated with this energy. However, you know, spoiler alert, there are going to be major astro events taking place in Taurus season that will help us kind of leap forward in big ways. Again, Jupiter and Uranus in conjunction, not only 24 hours after the sun moves into Taurus energy, it is a major deal. But for the most part, the cleansing, the purging, the release, the collapse, the deconstruction, gonna be low and slow. The building, the creating, the giving birth to new aspects, new routines, new relationship dynamics, new goals, new dreams, new visions going to be low and slow. So we all have to kind of tap into a new level of patience that most of us weren't born with. It's going to be a little bit of a test, if you will, to understand where it is that the good things, especially if you want them to last long term, take the longest to come together. Again, I want you to think of a plant. The seed just got planted in Aries energy. Now we're just sitting here looking, waiting for that little plant, that little seedling to actually bust through the earth. We need patience. We're likely not going to see that little plant, that little seedling bust through the earth until the end of Taurus season. So we have to have some patience. We have to have trust 
and faith that there's something going on underneath the earth to that little seed that we just have to be patient for. We can't see it. We just have to trust that it's doing its thing. And when it's ready in divine timing, it will poke through the earth. We will see the actual proof and evidence for our patience, for our, let's call it willpower and discipline to actually sit around and wait, trusting that this seed is doing its thing. Again, Taurus season is going to be a season and a cycle for us to get very focused on what we have to either maintain, like what is working for us. Okay, so we have to strengthen that, we have to maintain that, but also what isn't working for us. That's where the demo crew needs to come in and kind of break that shit down and remove it, clear out the space so that we can get building something better in the place of the things that, of course, are no longer in alignment with our mission, with our goal, with our vision, with our dream. But remember this, Taurus season is about us finding happiness and joy and pleasure in the small little creature comforts of life. And so, yeah, reality can be a very scary, very ugly place out there at any given point of time. It is up to us to have the attitude of gratitude for the small little things that make a little bit of happiness, a little bit of joy infiltrate our every day. And we're talking as small as that smell of the first cup of coffee in the morning. We're talking about when the sun actually blazes through the leaves on the trees. We're talking about the song that the little birds are chirping and making the little glimmers of watching your family, your kids, your friends interact, the happiness, the joy that your fur babies bring you. It is about the smaller details that make up the happiness level that we all have power and control over. So this is about enjoying ourselves, feeling good about ourselves, appreciating what is already working, what is already being gifted to us, and having the atti attitude of gratitude each and every single day, building towards this goal, this vision, this dream. <laughs>